we propose a system for the interactive design of artistic packing layouts. A user places graphical primitives, here eggs, on a 2D canvas. The system analyzes the placed primitive features, here color, and generalizes the layout to all primitives. Here, eggs are horizontally organized by color. Manipulating the placement of the small egg additionally organizes the layout vertically by size. Our pipeline is as follows. After fixing four butterflies, their relation is analyzed. We build several layout hypotheses. In this example, a Cartesian layout with the first axis as the connection of the green and yellow butterfly. We project all other primitives onto this axis. In the same way, all primitives are projected onto a second orthogonal axis. Result is a parametric coordinate for each primitive. Next, we consider all pairs of primitives, in particular their difference in the parametric coordinates and their features. We find the optimal linear scaling, S, for each feature difference to explain the difference in both parametric coordinates. We pick the unique set of features that best explain the differences. This procedure is repeated for a different axis hypothesis, shown now. After enumerating all hypotheses, we finally pick the layout that provided the best overall explanation. We apply this layout to all non-constrained primitives, see now. Finally, the primitives are relaxed, such that an even distance between their boundaries is achieved. We can add an arbitrarily shaped boundary to our domain. Here, we use a butterfly shape to lay out butterflies. The constraints result in a horizontal ordering by color variation and a vertical ordering by size. Our approach infers what layout function the user intends. Here, a radial layout is detected. First, large primitives appear at the center and small ones outside. Second, hue, a periodic feature, is mapped to angle. Different frogs used as primitives in a different session. First, frogs are organized by anisotropy. Next, frogs are sorted by orientation from top to bottom. Designing a poster of African animals. First, the animals are sorted by color variation. The user removes the constraints and adds different ones. The new layout is organized by orientation. Finally, manual intervention can be used to place individual primitives locally. Primitives of drastically different size are particularly hard to arrange. Here, an example of whales, where primitive sizes differ by more than one order of magnitude. Another class of primitives. Again, a size layout is chosen by the artist. Adding more constrained primitives leads to new distributions. Thanks to our generalization of centroidal Voronoi relaxation, primitive boundaries have an even distance in respect to their nearest neighbors, allowing compression of the space around small primitives. The high count of primitives can be handled thanks to our GPU-based primitive relaxation approach. Besides visual features, semantic features can be included as options to organize the layout. This set of primitives is taken from Ernst Haeckel's famous drawing of different species at different stages of development. Starting from the random layout, the artist drags primitives around and the system infers species and stage as the desired layout parameters. Another set of primitives created by Ernst Haeckel. Again, fixating three primitives leads to a layout similar to the one produced by the artist, indicating they use similar rules to design packing layouts. Our approach can be used on purely semantic features when ignoring all visual features. The user chooses countries with similar infant mortality rate to appear in a similar place and the layout of the other countries is adjusted. The 89 largest world countries were equipped by a seven-dimensional feature vector. Finally, the layout is changed to show the population size.